This is our 1966 Chevy Caprice two-door 396. So this video will cover a few different things. First off, there will be a very slow-paced walk around of the car. Following that, there will be a second walk around where I'll show close-ups of all the cosmetic blemishes, as well as some clips of the interior and under the hood with the car running. So this car actually only has 32,600 original miles. Uh, it's a two owner car. We purchased it from the son of the gentleman who had owned it since 1968. Uh, so he bought it when the car was two years old and uh, kept it for about 40 something years. It was his show car and as such is extremely well preserved. Ermine white, original color, actually much of the car, everything below the belt line, so below the bottom of the windows, is original paint. Uh, he did have the roof, trunk, and hood resprayed at one point, though it was done well. Um, but yeah, the lower portions of the car and the pinstripe are all original paint, which is very cool. The polished surfaces, like the front and rear bumper, are free of any oxidation or damage. Just really, really nice mirror-like finish. Uh, the doors, hood and trunk, all open and close really nice and smoothly. car will come with a ton of documentation, including the original window sticker. Uh, all the manuals, the protecto plate, the service booklet, uh, it's all there. Body's really, really nice and straight. There is no bubbling on this car whatsoever. It is bone dry. Uh, underbody's very nice as well, so take a look at those photos there in the listing. Hubcaps are free of any curb rash or damage or oxidation. Same with the polished trim pieces around the windows, all very nice, no oxidation. Panel fitment spot on. Spotlight is functional, controlled by a knob on the dash. Glass and light lenses are all clear and crack free. Now this is all the blemishes. Just a close up there so you can see that mirror-like finish of the chrome. Blemishes are very much minimal. It's a handful of small chips that have been touched up. One of those is here, has touch up on it. That's the driver front fender. And then there are a couple more spots of touch up along the uh, door crease on the driver's side where it meets the quarter. That's, uh, that's really it though in terms of blemishes. Another close look, the quality of the finish. Couple tiny little specks, little chips in the corner. Very minor. You can see here just that really nice glassy finish. Perfect panel fitment. Interior is extremely impressive. Uh, take a look at the photos there in the listing. But no kicked open markings or anything like that on the door panels. Uh, pretty amazing to see a cloth interior that's unrestored that looks this good. No hairline clack, cracks in the wood. Windows all roll up nice and smooth. No denting of the uh, armrest or anything like that. The AM radio is functional, though the power antenna is not. Uh, the speedo is functional, as is the odometer. Reading of 32.6 is functional and accurate. Aftermarket tack below the dash is functional. Close look at those blue cloth seats. I mean, even the outer bolster is just perfect. No punctures, no scuffs, discoloring, and uh, it's just really, really impressive. Equally nice on the passenger side as the driver. And then again, no visible wear in the rear. See the surface up top looks good, nice and clean. You'll see in the photos, uh, right inside this corner, there is a little puncture of the seat. Original blue carpets, actually still really nice. Minimal fraying or discoloring. Uh, very nice set of floor mats. Color matched will come with the car as well. 
headliner, clean and tight. Sun visors are nice and firm, stay in their place. Three hundred and twenty five horse turbojet three ninety six three oh seven posi rear end.